Hey, what up, man? It's DJ Fresh. I am DJ Fresh on Instagram. Official DJ for Rich on Kwan. So, um, I'm about to address the situation that happened last night between um, myself and Cardi B. Cardi B performed in Cincinnati last night, which is my home city for right now. You know what I'm saying? Where I DJ out of. And um, she was kind of disrespectful. Her management, there were two guys. I'm not sure exactly their names. They came to me ill-prepared. They didn't have music. They didn't have a flash drive. They didn't have an order of show. They didn't have when to stop or start the music. And they kind of just bombarded me like, hey, we need this done. So I asked them, you know, where's the music? They said, oh, we don't got it. We just figured you would have it. So that right there let me know um, that I was dealing with a, a, a lot of unprofessionalism. So as I'm doing the show, Cardi B is like, she, you know, she's trying to perform or whatever, but she, she, you know, she's trying to perform or whatever, but she can't get into it. So I see her do like this. So the manager then tells me to stop the record. So I stopped the record immediately. Um, she like, what she, you know, she looked back at me like, are you dumb? She asked me, are you dumb? And I'm like, I'm pointing at your boy. Like are your man, the manager, like he just told me to cut it. First off, it was an issue with the mic. She holding the mic up, like, turn the mic up or whatever. But she had a mic specifically for her. So what ended up being a problem was that she disrespected me in my city. And me as a DJ, I feel like if we playing your records and we doing this stuff for you, man, you know what I'm saying? It was the DJ reason that you got the number one record in the country. So I feel like disrespecting a DJ for your ill-prepared and ill-mannered management you know, that was that was kind of sideways, and I, I wasn't really feeling that. And the city of Cincinnati, I wasn't really feeling that. And the city of Cincinnati wasn't feeling that either. And you know what I mean? I feel like, granted, you're new to, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, being on top and being number one. I get that. As a person and as your everyday life goes on, I, I, I get that. You're cool and all that. But artist to DJ etiquette, I feel like you got to come better. If there was a misunderstanding, you know what I'm saying, then relay that to your management or relay that to whoever your person is, your point of contact, and then tell me, but to be blatantly disrespecting the city, you know what I'm saying, that supposedly supposed to support you and help you get to number one, you can't dis you can't disrespect the DJ, baby. And I don't, and I don't, I don't really rock with that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that shit ain't right. And I felt like your management should have came to you and let you know that it was their fault and not mine. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at with it. Continue success. I mean, continue success to what you got going on, but you got to give respect to get it.